is that important that the first message Jesus preached was on the anointing. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has experienced it before he preached it. If Jesus needed to have it before he could do anything, I don't know what we are doing, trying to do things without having that. If Jesus needed to have that, Jesus, Jesus was not born by normal natural means of people. He was born by the Holy Spirit. Not by a human, a man and a woman meeting. The Holy Ghost was his father. So by virtue of the way he was even born, is supernatural enough. But that was not enough. He had to still go for 40 days to seek the face of God for 40 days to tell him, Lord, if you don't place this oil on me, I'm not stepping out. I need this. I need this. And for 40 days, the Son of Man, Son of God, had to go and contend for the anointing. Now, you know why? Because we're going to face the devil. God knows who the enemy is. Yes, Lord. The devil that could be in heaven and look one third of the angels to rise up against God. Yes, Lord. That is the person you are going to face. That is the person you are going to face. If you face him without the anointing, he will tear you into pieces. That is that is what it is. That is God knows the capacity of the enemy. If now I want you to know this, I'm not talking about the White House, talking about the Senate, Democrat against Republican, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a personality that could move one third of the angels in rebellion against God and God was still down. Please understand that he, he did that in heaven, not on the earth. He successfully moved. Do you know what it means to campaign against God in heaven? And angels were convinced that no, it's not fair. It's not fair. We're going to rebel. That in heaven, not here. The guy that could do that kind of thing with angels and move one third of them out of heaven. It's not, the, it's not another person you'll be playing with. That was why he flew Adam the first time. So when Jesus was coming to meet him, that 40 days, he was ready for him. If Jesus needed that dimension of preparation, who are we to dare things for him? Amen. When we didn't get anything. Lord, and we depend on our grammar. <laughs> we are depending on how well we can speak. <laughs> we are depending on the on the lecture we got from university. <laughs> the devil has no respect for your grammar. <laughs> he has no respect for which school you went from. Your, your lecturer is from Harvard, right. you know. You are taught by the best professor. The devil has no respect for those rubbish. That's right. He will tear you into pieces. Because now, 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 for you to come and face that kind of personality on the earth, you must be prepared for it. That is what we are talking about. Anointing for breaking new ground. So let's ask the Lord, Lord, anointing. There's an anointing for teaching. There's an anointing for being a second. And Lord will be a good administrator. I'm not to be a good husband. I'm not to be a good wife. I'm telling you, I'm not to raise kids in this environment. <laughs> to raise positive children in a negative environment. If, if you need an anointing to raise children the right way, I'm telling you. Truth. Preach the word. Yes. We need it. We need it. Is it if you don't know what it, that you need it, you play with it until don't they ask him for it when you are in the middle of crisis. But you had it before the problem came. Because known to God that all is worse. He knows if you get married to somebody right now, you are married. I love you. You know, you are the best thing that happened to me. You are the only sugar in my tea. You are the only bread on my plate. Thank God for that. God knows whether it will last or not, he knows. And all those stuff we are talking just grammar. After one month, you will be looking for each other's throat. He knows we'll be looking for God now to blow his head off. After one month, he knows. So he has to give you the anointing, the empowerment, the grace of or your husband yes. over your wife. Yeah. I am not talking about Adam and Steve, like I said last time. Oh. Not talking about two men, trying another man, trying to marry another man. No. On this one, I'm talking about. I'm talking, I'm talking about one man trying to marry another man. Like I said the other time, that can you imagine this my brother right now? 
me and him now, husband and wife. How? How do we do it? Who is wife? <laughs> you can see the level of mental problem our generation has right now. And they want me and your children, they want your children and my children to accept that as a marriage. No. No. And they try to put police on it to bully you for not accepting it. So that your kids will not come and tell you that there's nothing wrong. No. Yeah. And my friend John and Andrew married themselves. I mean, that's why I say we need in this generation even the anointing to parent, to be a father, and teach our children the right way. And not be and not be coerced and forced into what is wrong because one government is talking somewhere. So this is what I'm talking about. We need the anointing. Say I need it. I need it. Let's welcome our boss. <laughs> Let's welcome our boss. Let's welcome our boss. Lord, I receive the anointing. Lord, I receive the anointing. very in tune with the Holy Spirit and uh, sometimes it rubs people the wrong way but how many know that he said that God be the truth and every man be a liar for as many that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God and I can get up here in my emotions and try to preach out of my emotions and not being endorsed by God and I will lead you astray and that's not breaking new ground we're here for a purpose today and uh, I'm not going to be before you long. Matter of fact, uh, uh, the, the Spirit speaks to us. Um, he spoke to me this morning, and he began to tell me, and I didn't understand the fullness of what God was saying, but he began to say, he said, you're just a steward of my work. You don't hold my work. And sometimes we try to take ownership when God only designed us to be stewards of his work. And with that being said, uh, I, I was, uh, I could hear the Lord say, he said, I've already broken the ground. Amen. The ground has already been broken. I'm the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. He said, and I often say, uh, we're, we're just merely walking out what he worked out. Yes, yes, yes. We're just coming in agreement with God. Yes. He's already worked it out. Yes, 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 yes. There's one scripture that I hold dear is, I believe that we have to be in sync with God and we have to yes. be in time with God. And uh, I'm going to, to say this, and I pray that, uh, that we all have the heart to receive it. Yes. That in this hour, God is looking for those that would represent him. Jesus. Jesus. See, you can't present anything you don't represent. Mm -hmm. So we can't present wow. God. We cannot present God until we first represent God. Yeah. And, and, and as I heard God speak to me this morning, and this is, and I pray y'all have a heart for this because we're here. We want to be obedient and in compliance with God, right? Yes, yes. We want to move as God moves, right? Yes. We don't want to move according to man because man can't create a galaxy. Right. Man can create a star. Right. He's not capable of that, so I'm not going to follow man. Yes. Pastor, y'all, I believe that he, he had my notes because the, the three things that I, God had given me before I uh, asked the praise thing to come up, the three things he says, there's going to be a collective breaking of ground, mm. an individual breaking of ground, mm. and there's going to be a kingdom breaking of ground. Mm. Mm. And whether you caught it in the spirit or not, Apostle Adobo has spoke on all of those already. Mm. He began to even uh, go deeper into my notes where God said, I, I don't do anything unless I first give instructions and I teach. Mm. Then I motivate. Mm. I don't motivate and skip instructions and teach. Yeah. He's not that kind of guy. He's not here to motivate you. Man will motivate you and never give you teaching and instruction. For he's called Rabbi Rabboni, teacher. So he teaches us first. He instructs us first. And then he motivates us according to the teachings and instructions. I'm going to ask the praise team to come up. And then I'm going to speak a few words. And I, I pray that Apostle Adobo uh, uh, asked me to come back. But right now I can't give you that word. 
that I have because it's already been spoken. The man has already broken the ground. He's already broken the ground. I don't want to contaminate what God has already released. It has already been spoken. God has done everything that he needed to do. And he didn't get up here at the last minute to tell me this. Those that had any conversation with me today, I had already told them, God said I wouldn't speak. It, I, I didn't get here, so nobody said I'm sabotaging it. I already knew I wasn't speaking when I got here. If you heard me say that, raise your hand. I knew I wasn't speaking. God had already had it planned out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask the praise team to come up and sing a song. And then I'm going to come into agreement because this is how we have to become an agreement. Watch this. Because if you can't, if you can't celebrate the collective, nor can you celebrate the individual, nor can you celebrate the kingdom, then you're not going to make it. Because it takes you to be in agreement with the kingdom for the kingdom to represent you as an individual. So I don't care what you have as an individual, it's predicated on what you're going to do for the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom and its righteousness, and all other stuff will be added up. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It's already planned. Yes, it is. We're just coming into agreement. I'm going to ask the praise team to come up. Give me 10 more minutes. I need to make an impartation, and then I'm out of your way. All right. And I'm going to pray that an apostle that asked me to come back, I'm going to save my notes. And it's going to be a point in time that I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you those instructions. It's all right.